and the city of Rockport was hit hard yesterday by Harvey. Now the first wave of cleanup is underway. Our Nicole Fierro continues our team coverage tonight from Rockport. Nicole. For many Rockport residents, home is not an option. Stranded in shelters and hotels like these, they're stuck wondering what's left for them and their loved ones. For Renee Cox, packing up her pets and heading west wasn't the difficult part. It was leaving her husband behind in the thick of Harvey, the chief of Aransas Pass Fire, putting his life on the line to save others from the devastation. They had, I guess, 160, however high the winds got. He was in it, and the last text I got from him was, it's bad, real bad, pray for us. And then I didn't get anything. It's a sheer feeling of panic Cox hasn't stopped feeling for three days now. Stranded for safety, but stuck wondering what's happening at home like so many others. With power out and lines down all along the coast, it's social media that's helping keep the community connected. It was one of the firemen's brothers and he tagged me and it said, just from Aransas Pass, all of the uh, emergency personnel are safe. So I was like, thank God. So I just, I hadn't had any information until then. But continuous posts now show Cox the conditions she's coming home to. Her workplace dubbed a complete loss. Her work friends hit with complete tragedy right in their front yards. A lot of my coworkers that I'm going home to have completely lost everything. And there's one girl that even had a picture of the area where her house is just gone. I feel guilty because I, I've got something to go home to. A feeling so many lost in the face of Hurricane Harvey. It's heartbreaking because you want to just go over and hug them. You want to be able to give them everything you have. So I just, I'm going to do what I can and I mean, we're all going to pull together. Even the lucky ones who still have homes may not have power for an extended period of time. That's why it's essential to really stock up on all non perishables, especially gas with many stations out. I'm Nicole Fierro reporting. An emergency crews say everyone is safe down in Port Aransas, but there is a lot of damage to that city that got a direct hit from Harvey. Jordan Lucero is in Port Aransas with what emergency crews say about that.